343 responds to community feedback about progression in Halo Infinite and an entire year-long roadmap for has been revealed. You want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here. Welcome to the channel that keeps you up to date with everything going on in Halo. So the biggest discussion point about Halo Infinite since it's been released on Monday for the multiplayer progression within Halo Infinite. There's been a lot of talk if it's not fast enough, we're not gaining enough XP and things like that. And so 343 has actually responded to the community about that. And all the Halo Infinite events have been announced for the entire year and I'm super happy about one in particular. So let's just jump right into the news. So if you guys like these kind of news and informational videos, tap that like button as it lets me know you wanna see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. If you wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the official release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So the roadmap has been revealed of all the Halo Infinite events happening out throughout 2021 guys. And this is looking pretty dang awesome with events first kicking off in raleigh this december if you guys are able to make it congratulations i won't be able to make it sadly but then we also have anaheim in february and then we also have kansas city missouri in april slash may in june we have the hts regional of valencia in spain which looks like an awesome location and then in july you have mexico city september has melbourne australia then later in september you have orlando florida and then all culminating at the world championship finals in seattle in october which has me super happy about this because I currently live in the Seattle area. So I will 100% be there for the finals, guys. I am super excited about this. I'm thinking about making, maybe making it to some of these other events as well. I haven't worked out any details yet about it, but uh, I definitely would like to make a cool trip about it. it. would be pretty fun. We have some more information as well. It came along with a blog update about how this whole like year long roadmap is gonna work for these Halo events. So the HDS team recently posted up the 2021, 2022 seasonal reveal and it looks fantastic. I'll kind of point out more of the spectator points for you guys. Cause that's probably what most of you if who are in HCS interested in it, will check this out. Uh, if you're interested in competing, definitely want to read this blog. We can see here that you have over $3 million over the season when it comes to and plus crowdfunding on top of that when it comes to funds being funneled in for uh, opportunities to win uh, for all you twitch viewers and youtube viewers as well there will be twitch drops and youtube drops as simultaneously as well which actually revealed one in this blog update there will be eight in-person events with all four regionals and a championship in september for seattle as well like we mentioned previously now you're probably wondering what the heck are these twitch drops that we're talking about these are things that you can earn in game by watching twitch streams so you definitely want to watch out the first one happening this december guys for the hcs raleigh event so i definitely will be watching that sadly i'll be on vacation but i'll be watching it from my phone hopefully i get some of these cool drops one of these drops being this one right here which which I believe if you sign in now into Halo Infinite during the beta, you will get the skin anyways, but there's gonna be other ones on top of that. This is a Master Chief themed coating for your Spartan as well. So there's gonna be many other drops as they mentioned as well. So we'll have some new cosmetics that you can possibly put onto your Spartan because you're watching these streams. So you get more customization, which is gonna be really sweet. I think it'd be kind of cool if you had like a Twitch colored kind of coating for either your armor or for like a weapon or something like that. I think that'd be really fun. Talking about cool coatings, looks like we'll be getting an optic coating coming in pretty soon as we guys might know that optic and envy seem to be merging now, which is pretty epic. Head of HES Tashi tweets out saying, for all those asking, you can support Optic slash Envy by grabbing an Envy bundle in the store, Optic bundle on the way, and looking fire too. And these Envy skins will be super rare as the team transitions to Optic. So that's super cool to see Optic back in Halo, one of the biggest gaming organizations out there. You may have an encoding for it as well. I'm very excited about that. And some other news, we had a new content creator sign up with E United, which is one of the partner teams for Halo Infinite, saying the Halo hype train continues a chugging. Join us all in welcoming the newest content creator to our E United welcome, Lady uh, Achina? Achina, is that how you pronounce it? Come on, Lady Achina. All joking aside, Kidna, congratulations on joining up with a partner team right there. Looking forward to some more great stuff from you for Halo Infinite.
Now here's the big talking point I'm sure you guys are all here for, the conversation about progression in Halo Infinite. Because so far the maps are good, the gunplay is great, and the customization is good as well. Like literally everything about this game I really like. It's just the only issue I think that people are going to be talking about, and people have been talking about, is the progression in Halo Infinite. Not the fact that it's on a battle pass and there's monetization involved with it, but the fact of how slow the progression is. How slow you might say? Well, I've put 13 hours into this game on Steam and so far I just got to level seven. Now it does say that season one will in game will continue until May. 343 did state that they do plan to kind of extend season one a little bit because they have a bit of a Christmas break and they want to make sure everything that they add into season two is ready to go. So we might have a little bit longer season one so that could play a factor in the whole process as well but right now it's still pretty grindy because you have all this amazing customization for your spartan right now but people have been putting like me 10 plus hours already in two days for this game and i've only unlocked like the mark 5b core and also like one shoulder pad and so people are not really getting a chance to experience the progression experience the customization that you would expect to be able to customize by now because it's such a rich in-depth customization but no one's really been able to play around with it because the progression is so slow well 343 replies to these concerns community director sketch replies here saying thank you all for everyone who has jumped into the halo infinite beta so far fyi the team is looking at battle pass progression and gathering data from yesterday's session this was posted on tuesday and we'll share updates as we have them please continue to share feedback and raise flags as you see them and one of the heads at 343 joseph stating also chimes in saying we're looking very closely at battle pass progression in halo infinite beta please keep the feedback coming we can't do our jobs without it so this is very important to see how 343 is going to be tracking this progression obviously it's just, it's just too slow i mean if they do plan to have this entire 100 tier progression to have continuous players up until may to finally unlock tier 100 that's a hell of a grind right there and i think a lot of people are gonna get bored with it because they're not getting a chance to play around with customizing their spartan which is a huge part of the multiplayer experience but 343 definitely has data on this. They definitely see how much time people have put into, how far the general public has gone into the progression as well. I mean, they have all this information and I'm sure they can fine tune it. And the thing is like also being followed through challenges. A lot of people have been crying about having this whole system channel through challenges is the main issue, but I don't really think that is, but it seems to be that way for the people on Reddit. Because this post here has 20,000 plus upvotes. So it's one of the highest upvoted threads on Reddit right now for Halo. And they talk about saying there must be per match XP, they talk about how slow and low the XP gains are right now in Halo Infinite. And a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people have certainly chimed in on this thread as well. Uh, all kind of echoing the same kind of feeling as well when it comes to the progression in Halo Infinite. The acting male himself even chimed in on it saying, I'm actually stunned that 343 has implemented a feature in Halo that has universally hated as COD zombies. Literally nobody is happy with the progression system or the battle pass in Halo Infinite. 343, I thought you knew what the ladies liked. Fix this as soon as possible. And I will agree with him a little bit there that yeah probably universally disliked is the progression system right now in Halo Infinite and I mean I've even voiced my concerns in my previous video talking about like the math that I did for my day one progression how long it would take me to get 100 tiers it would be equal to like 27 20 hours a month to get through every tier if I was going to unlock everything within three months which is a traditional length of a season that they mentioned in a previous blog update. Though luckily, 343 has set themselves up to quickly remedy these kind of issues. Right now, we do have all the XP channel through the challenge system, like I mentioned earlier, but they do have daily challenges, which is just play a game, play two games, play three games, and get XP from it. One thing they could definitely do is just is tune the daily challenges, so maybe that play one match length of XP gains will probably last maybe like for you for continuously playing for like an hour maybe two hours and then adding two, two games three games four games later on so the XP gains are a little bit more generous there and also they can just bump up the earns of the XP amount that you earn in game as well when collecting these so I don't 343 has backed themselves into a corner where they can't really remedy this issue I think they don't have they don't even have to completely re rework any kind of systems they just need to fine-tune this thing 
a little bit better and they have all the data that they need to make the proper steps forward. So it's not like, oh my God, everything's broken. Halo Infinite's gonna be terrible. I am very positive that this is gonna be work out very well. Since 343 has been very player focused with their experience, Microsoft in general has also been very player focused as well. So I do expect these to be changed before the official release of Halo Infinite, we'll see. I don't expect any changes, maybe even for the beta, but definitely not in the close like next week or two. 343 is gonna be monitoring this to see what the proper amount of time is gonna be needed to unlock everything in the battle pass through XP. If you guys are new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I can link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. We're gonna be uploading more videos very soon about how to get better at the game to improve your kill death ratio and also your sensitivities as well. So stay tuned to the channel for those bits of content as well. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.